We don't have a major announcement today relative to, uh, to a return date. Uh, we're making great progress, but we're just not quite ready to do that. Um, uh, the team is doing great. The joint uh, Boeing and NASA team is doing well. They're working uh, side by side with each other every day. We're methodically looking, working through the data, and uh, we'll uh, come home when we're ready. This is a very complicated subject. The helium leaks combined with the thrusters, combined with how the GNC flight control system will work during the deorbit burn. Getting everybody educated and understanding that ahead of the uh, flight readiness review is the next step that, that we have on our side. Uh, uh, the last several weeks have been really helpful to understand the helium and thruster anomalies and how to address these problems for future flights. That's, that's been the, the real goal here is to be able to address future flights and to gain the confidence that we needed uh, for this mission. Uh, we need to take the time to get the community all this information and, and get back to completing the CFT mission. So, you know, our mission was to get the crew to ISS. That's been completed. Our mission was to learn from a flight test. Uh, a lot of the learning that we've, we've uh, achieved so far really, in my opinion, could only be achieved through the flight test. And now it's time to uh, get on with returning the crew safely. And there's that step left to go. Uh, our, our, our focus today, as Mark said, as Mark and I have been working for the last uh, number of weeks, is to return Butch and Sonny on Starliner. I think we're starting to close in on those final pieces of the, the flight rationale to make sure uh, that we can come home safely. Um, and, and that's our primary focus right now. We have contingency options. We've put those in play. NASA always has contingency options.